Pro-Palestine student demonstrations and encampments have erupted at colleges across the United States protesting against the inhumane treatment faced by Palestinian people. One of the main goals for the protests is for colleges to divest from Israeli companies while other goals include getting the United States government to stop aiding Israel in the conflict. Gaza encampments have been started at several of our own local universities, including UC Berkeley, UCSF, and Stanford, where students demand for universities to take action and acknowledge the ongoing tragedy. Yeah, so it's been basically eight months uh, into the Israeli uh, offensive in Gaza, uh, which we identify as a genocide. Um, the state of Israel is trying to eliminate the Palestinian people from the Gaza Strip. Um, we know that our university is directly co uh, implicit or complicit um, in this genocide uh, through the funding of uh, an investment in companies and interaction with companies that profit from this conflict. While universities such as UC Berkeley have reached agreements with the students, other colleges have yet to reach an agreement. At UCSF, police quickly shut down the encampment that was erected only hours prior and arrested one student. Stanford has also made it clear that the encampments violate school policies and that students violating the policies are subject to suspension and other disciplinary actions. Evidently, student motivations to protest outweigh potential consequences as they ignored the threats. I'm protesting myself because, quite frankly, like it's difficult not to when you see images every day of children just like absolutely maimed and slaughtered um, by not only the Israeli military, but also bombs made by the United States, right, or companies in the United States. However, the community at Stanford is not united against Israel. In fact, on May 12th, pro-Israel and pro-Palestine supporters hosted dueling rallies on the Stanford campus. Although the intentions of the encampments are usually good, the protests have a negative effect on Jewish students whom receive backlash for the conflict over the Gaza Strip. I think as a Jewish student, it's not always the best, that's for sure. I think that oftentimes, like, anti-Zionism feels like anti-Semitism. Even if a lot of people claim that's not the case, it feels aggressive and it feels, um, yeah, I would say. Overall, student protests seem to have a positive impact both locally and worldwide. I think even though they individually might not seem like they have a large impact, like, like an impact at a large scale or at a global scale, I think collectively they do shine a lot of um, light and they bring a lot of attention and awareness to these different issues that are going on. And I think in a way it also might pressure people and, you know, like politicians, governments, institutions to maybe pay attention or um, maybe spark change. So I think collectively, one, it shows that um, students and just the younger generation in general are really capable of sparking broader social change and it can serve as like almost a catalyst for larger change or change at an institutional level so i think they are really important one for um, raising awareness and two for inspiring others and also sparking change reporting for scott center news i'm franklin quote